All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to talk about my little uh, HT ham radio setup that I use with my uh, arrow antenna to work uh, SO50 satellite, etc. Uh, so I'm just using a uh, Lotion, however you want to pronounce the name, the KGUV8D Plus HT. It's a nice little radio. I do like it. I mainly only use it to work the SO50 satellites and stuff and uh, use it for uh, slow scan uh, TV for the uh, ARISS. Then I just record it to like my uh, cell phone or whatnot. Um, but what you see here is I got a little uh, 2.5 millimeter to a 3.5 millimeter adapter. Then I have a BNC adapter SMA for my uh, arrow antenna. Now, <clears throat> people say you can't use this radio because it's not a full duplex radio, but yes you can. And I'll show you how. And I'm sure a lot of people already know this, but if we start up here, this is the, uh, this is, uh, we'll just say A and B. <clears throat> this is the one we're going to transmit on. So when you do your A and B to main or main, this is the one we're going to transmit on. So I mainly just flip back and forth between these two for transmit. When the satellite comes on, I'll key up for a couple seconds since that's a different uh, PAL tune. Then I'll just switch it over to TX. Then I'll let that there. Down here, under this one, I have programmed in about eight different frequencies for the receive of the uh, SO50. So I'll put my HT on the uh, ST minus we'll say ST minus because it's below the actual frequency. Uh, so as the satellite comes up, I'll just rotate this as the sound goes away from one to another, then I'll just keep going. And normally once I get to this stage, you know, I can't really hear it anyway after so long. So, <clears throat> and when you key have it down here to the one you want, all you got to do is key up. And when you key up, you're still able to hear the receive. Uh, then you just have to flip this and change to the, you know, the next frequency to be able to hear the pass better than just hit your A, B button again. So you can transmit, still receive. Now, I don't use a microphone or nothing because I just use the mic that's built in. So what I do is I take my uh, two millimeter to 2.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Then I have this little cable here and it's just 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter adapter. But I have this little box here. And it has your volume and stuff on it, which I don't use. TX receive power, then there's a little LED light there. Then you have your uh, in and out and your five volts to uh, charge it. So to do this, I set it on TX and this little device here is a Bluetooth device and it's able to support two different uh, connections at the same time. I'll be right back in a second. So it's able to support two connections at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll just use my uh, regular old uh, cell phone Bluetooth uh, that I wear for my cell phone. I'll connect it to it so I can actually hear the receive through my uh, um, Bluetooth headset and not out of here. You won't hear the audio obviously out of the radio since we got the uh, speaker plugged in. 
Then I'll connect the other one to my uh, portable uh, Bluetooth speaker. And this comes in handy because I'll set it on a chair or whatever with my phone or whatever to record the pass. So this speaker will, obviously the uh, cell phone or the recorder that I'm using, the camera, will pick up the audio from here from the uh, receive of the uh, SO50 and the Bluetooth that I'm wearing in my ear, I'll be able to hear the audio. So when I key up, I don't get no feedback or nothing like that because it's not coming out of the radio. I picked this item up for like 40 bucks, I think, 35 bucks on Amazon. It's a good buy because it's nice because it's used for both receive and transmit. So if you got other things that you could use it for. Uh, so I just plug it in to my, uh, to the cable here, the adapter. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to go with, and hook up my uh, dual band arrow antenna. So, like I said, this radio works pretty nice for it because you can hear and transmit at the same time. Uh, and, you know, the JBL Bluetooth speaker works really well with it too. It's nice and loud. Then when you use the volume on your radio, it'll, it, it'll turn up both volumes that are connected to the Bluetooth device. So I don't even mess with the uh, volumes on here. I just uh, mess with the volume on the radio itself. But uh, anyway, the name of this and the, uh, the model number is uh, TT-BA08 Tango Tango Bravo Alpha 08 like I said it works out pretty well I only charge this once in a while I don't work the satellites too often because every time there's a good pass I'm not around so but that's how it is I guess but anyway hopefully this video helped and uh, I'll throw a link in the description with some photos to my uh, link in the description to my website, which will have this video and some photos and stuff and a photo of this. So if you anybody would like to get it on uh, Amazon. Uh, and I got this uh, adapter here off of Amazon and I just threw a little tie around the little uh, hanger thing there. So works out all right all right thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos